My name is Andrew O'Brien. I am an Iraqi war veteran, and I attempted suicide after coming home from the war. Now, it had a lot to do with Iraq, but it had a lot to do with my childhood as well. I felt like I didn't have a family, no one would care for me. I remember my mom being a stripper. I remember her bringing guys home all the time. I remember living in hotel rooms or motel rooms. I remember her always telling me to be a man and stop crying when I was eight years old. And I remember, I mean, I remember all this stuff. And it was just all those memories coming at one time on how rough my life was and, and how being raised with her was so horrible and then doing Iraq. And then, so it all led to my suicide attempt. I found out that in February of 2013, they released the suicides for um, 2012 for veterans, and it was 22 veterans a day and one active duty soldier a day. And so um, I found out that we are actually killing ourselves more than the enemy is killing us in, in war. So I wrote a book called Welcoming Your Soldier Home, and after I wrote the book, uh, I decided I was gonna tell my story of my suicide attempt and to kind of help people feel normal because I felt like I was alone whenever I attempted and uh, so I told my story went on YouTube got my first invite through Twitter to go speak in New Orleans and after that I met this mother who just lost her son to suicide he's 21 years old I saw her crying and I, I decided I wanted to do something to stop families from having to go through this so the biggest thing that I say to soldiers who are struggling like I did, who are getting to that point of not knowing if they can live their life anymore, um, is that when you come home from war, you're always going to be a different person. And you're never going to go back to the exact same person that you were before. But this new person doesn't mean that you are a bad person. It doesn't mean that you, can, you can't be someone good. You just have to relearn yourself and relearn that this new person is just a whole different person but you can still go on to do great things with your life, take care of your family, and it does get better, but you've got to get help.